Coach Dante live all the way in the Thomas, Sacramento, California. Grab your mat. Happy Friday, to you, team. We are back live, baby, going virtual with our Elements Course training. Oh, my goodness. You know what, guys? It has definitely been an uncertain time, some unprecedented time. But nevertheless, guys, we can't help but thank you, our faithful Element Health Club members that stay tuned in with us, that stay committed to us, that stay dedicated to the purpose and the mission that we have, you know, change lives, you know, change this world, guys. And this is no better time than to focus on your health than right now, okay? Not only physically, but mentally and spiritually as well. I count this a privilege to always be able to stand before you guys and contribute my passion to you all to whatever your endeavors may be, whatever your health goals may be, Coach Dante and humble and privilege to be an individual that's a sign to you to help you reach those goals. All right, hope you guys are ready to do this. I am honestly excited today. This is going to be a great workout. I am here in my very own home temple of the Thomas. To all of our Thomas members that wish they were here, I wish you guys were here as well. If we have any uh, Lake Tahoe uh, fit fam there that is watching, if we have any of our Washington or Oregon uh, members that are watching, Thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys can take this workout for maybe later on today. If you happen to watch in the afternoon or in the evening. And if you have time then, guys, I will be back at noon for our dumbbell strength. And I'll be back at 6.30 this evening for our body weight ETP. Nonetheless, let's start this fire team. All right? We are going with a full body workout today. We got some push. We got some pull. We got some core, upper body, lower body. And we're doing our cross training with different models of these guys. If you don't have any of the equipment, there are some modifications that you can use. If you have a dumbbell, although we're doing dumbbell strength later on today, it's going to be a little bit different. We're going to be concentrating more on strength field. Today is cross training, so if you have some dumbbells that you can use today, definitely use those, all right? Now, I'm going to be using the band, and I'll be using the kettlebell for our strength. But again, if you don't have a kettlebell or a band, you can use your dumbbell, okay? Now, today's cross training, Next cross training, guys, we're going with our version two that we use here in the Thomas. We're cross training, guys, with our fit uh, training, uh, functional, intense interval training, guys. We're going to go with a 40 20 on today, guys. A 40 20, where on mobility, we have four exercises that we're going to work for three rounds. Each exercise is going to be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. All right, 
three rounds of that. And the same thing with stretch. We have four three-dimensional functional movements, cross training movements. That's going to be a 40-20 as well. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, three rounds. All right? Now, if many of you guys are at home, okay, today, all right, part of this uh, shutdown in, in California or wherever you may be, after you hit the mobility and the strength, you want to get your little bit of cardio in, guys. If you're able, you have a lot of open space in your neighborhood, guys, to go out for a little jog or a little bit of run. You get some clean, fresh air, guys, practicing your breathing with that, inhaling through the nose, exhaling out of the mouth, all right, getting your focus going for the day. I will highly advise that you do that, okay? Nonetheless, here we go with our mobility. Four exercise. And we are working. Exercise one, we are going with our simple inchworms. I'm going to bring this camera down a little bit so you guys will be able to see me better when I back up. Go with our simple end front, guys, all right? Face in one direction. Hands over here, get a slight hinge in your hips. As you bring your fingertips to your toes, slight bend in your knees. And go from fingertips, palm, to a plank, push up. Palm back up, and you can get this up. Palm to fingertips, roll up, and continue, all right? Exercise two, and I'm looking at our wide board up here. We're going into our twisty lunge, right? Coming down to a high plank position. Arms curled up under your shoulders, feet about hip width apart. You want to lunge. One leg forward, outside of your arm. Try to keep that foot flat. That knee's almost touching the ground. Inside arm, rotate up. Twisty lunge. Bring it back down to your plank. And to the other side, lunge forward. Side arm, rotate up. All right, King. Trying to work both sides equally in the 40 seconds. Exercise three. You want to come down to the ground. Going to one of my favorite mobility and morning stretches. It's our bridge reach over. Coming down, laying on our back, knees upright, feet are flat, like we're going to two standard bridges. All right. We're going into a nice flat stretch and shoulder mobility as well. As we bring our heels in close, try to bring the parallel under the knee as much as possible. Drive your heels hard to the ground. Bust your hips up to get the bridge. And one arm. Touch the side, reach over. Back over on the side. Get the butt down. Drop the bridge back up. Alternate. Reach over. To the other side. Okay. Right, the last we have good old blast off push up thing, right? Put it back down for a high plank. Both your hands and feet just a little bit wider than shoulder width. I'm going to break that core. Then we're going to hand our hips to get our butt back towards our heels. Try to keep that butt down low. Last forward. Push up. And repeat. Those will be our four mobility movements. And that's going to take a nice little break. We're going to strip training, all right? If you have a bag, if you have your bag, hopefully you have your anchor to something. I can see my bag here, all right? Hopefully you can have an anchor to something. What you do, you want to stand perpendicular sideways to that anchor. Your inside arm on this side of the handle, this side of the band. The outside leg is going to go into a lunge. We want rotation lunge, band press. Right? Raise that knee up, lunge out to the side, rotate and press. Bring it back up. Knee up, lunge out, rotate and press. Raising that core. Right? Check around, you go the other direction. Out and press. If you have a dumbbell, you can hold that dumbbell up. You guys, you can hold that dumbbell up. Let's come in two. Nice side lunge. Rotate it. Come forward and back. Alright? Exercise two. Or strip. You want to grab a kettlebell. If you do not have a kettlebell, you can use a dumbbell, guys. We're going half Turkish. Half Turkish get ups, right? So we're going to grab our kettlebells, 
a three count on it. Midnight Caramel, and two. Turn my watch around, got my Apple Watch. My phone. Ain't going in. Midnight Caramel up. The same side leg. It's going to be up with your kettlebell, right? You got your three leg out, and three on down. Count to three, you your core. Nice little sit up. So bring it up, elbow, right. Two, on the palm, three. Bring it to the thrust, back down. One, two, three. One, two, and three. All right, we're going kettlebell, half turkey. Exercise three, we're going to grab a dumbbell. Just one, all right? One dumbbell, right here on the side of your plank. The one and two, our dumbbell plank, pull through, all right? Pull through. Now, as you're going into your plank, right on the side of that dumbbell, this is the anti-hip rotation move. You're trying to keep the hips approaching as much as possible as you hold that plank and take your right arm, reach under the left, grab that dumbbell, bring it to the right, and then left arm, reach under the right, bring it back to the left. Pull through, trying to keep the hips as stable and your plank as flat as possible. All right, then we have exercise four. Now you can grab your dumbbells, all right? We're going to dumbbell clean and squat. Feet about shoulder width apart, all right? Dumbbells out to the side, get a nice hinge in those hips. As you thrust forward, shrugging those shoulders, keeping the dumbbells close to your body, onto your toes, come up to that clean. As you shrug them up, just clean, from that clean, squat down and up, all right? Get back down, clean. Squat. Clean. Squat. All right. 40 20. So, those will be the four movements, guys. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, three rounds. Let's warm it up first. All right, team. On warm up, we have four movements. We're going with our airplane rotation. And we're going with Good old air squats, after air squats, we'll wake up our core, hold some sit ups, after sit ups, more jumping jacks. All right, team? We want to turn this music up just a little bit. That also has our timer. Let me go to it. Back it 
that, guys. All right, we got two more. Now we're going to get some sit ups. Went to part four. Next up. Heels on the ground, balls in your hands, or down the body, or hands on the top of your head. Never pull to the back of your neck. Never do it again. Alright. Alright, guys, last one. No jumping jacks. All right. Woo. All right, team. Pretty sure you guys are warmed up. Coach Dante's warmed up. Here we go. Three rounds of mobility. We have our good old inchworm, twisty lunge, bridge reach over, and our good old last off push up. 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, three rounds. Let's do this. Alright, team, got our time to get ready to start. Ah, 
Concentrate more on the mobility, flexibility, the range of movement. I'd rather you go slower, guys. All right, it's about quality before quantity. Nice. All right, one round down, two more to go. Here we go, back with our inch worm. Slower, but hope you concentrate on where your BB 
limitations are, all right? Where you're lacking that flexibility, where you're lacking that range of motion, all right? All right, team. Two rounds down, last one. That's our inch learn. Next family, we have three rounds of our strength. We have the rotation, the band press. Again, if you don't have a band, if you have a light dumbbell, you can use that dumbbell to press forward. All right? We'll take a lot of coordination and core engagement, guys, to keep your balance and rotate on those pivot. Okay? Exercise two, we have our kettlebell half turn get up. You can also use a dumbbell for this as well. Remember, it's going to be a three count to keep it at half. All right? Using that core to bring it up, that one heel, that, that inward, get that hip thrust up. Then we have our one dumbbell into a plank, full pass through. And then our last one, using a pair of dumbbells to go into our clean watch. 
This is how we get ready for the week. This is how we close out the week. Get ready for the weekend. Not in fire, team. All right. Get our timer reset. And grab it. That band. Or that thumbnail.
before you go, guys. Back that match is up, Bill. Hip square. Twist your ankle. Anti hip rotation. Don't hip square. Get that bill. Pull the pass to the side. Way to work. Getting up early. Getting off the week. Starting the weekend. Friday fire. Way to burn, team. Grab some water, shake it off. And we're going to our cool down. Good job, guys. All right, that's one second. Pulling it down. Let you going out for a nice run. Call you afterwards. Go ahead. The rest of us. Go ahead and cool down, stretch it. Resting in a butterfly position. Conscious breathing, guys. Now,
like all the way flat supine. Bring the toe forward. Nice extension of those toes. Little ankle. Arms back over here. Everything from fingertips to toes is on the foot flat. And America, knees here. Forward, hands a couple inches forward, and the front of the shoulder, knees curl under your hips, feet on top, slowly hinging, bring your foot down, down pose. Stretch right on under the back, back into child pose. Relax it, switching sides. Left arm stretch across under the right, back into child pose. Stay up to slowly rise. Up with dog. Back up the way and switch to the left. To the right. Tighten on our toes. Hips all the way up. Down the dog. Slowly begin to kick once again. Awesome work, Big Fam. Way to hit it, guys. Way to keep going. Way to stay committed to yourselves. Way to keep believing in yourself, guys. All right? No matter what. To our family in Washington, in Oregon, continue to keep that good energy and vibe, hopes, and prayers towards the family here in California. Things are back a little bit back and forth here, guys. But stick with us, all right? We're going to continue to go strong here in Potomac and Lake Tahoe and throughout the club that we're going to be spreading in California, guys. We're not going to let anything stop. We haven't before, and we never will, all right? We haven't before. We're not going to do it next, okay? We're going to keep going strong. LMS Health Clubs, to our leaders, thank you guys so very much for being innovative, for being creative, for being a big support to us, your coaches, and providing a platform for us and believing in us. We thank you guys very much. All of our members, we thank you guys for believing in us. We thank you so very much for your, for your commitment to us and allowing us to be partners with you in your life change and in your health. All right? You guys have a wonderful weekend. All right? To our family in California and all of our family guys, I will be back live. At 12 noon with dumbbell strength, all right, and I will be back this evening at 6 30. For those of you guys that wasn't able to catch this morning, 6 30 with body weight blast, body weight PTC, and then back Saturday morning for some mob moves, guys, all right. Move mob, sorry, move mob. We're going to continue to keep this thing going, guys. We're strong and we're unstoppable. You guys enjoy your Friday. If I don't see you on tomorrow morning in the live, you guys enjoy your weekend. Coach Dante signing out. Peace.